everyone, it's Sarissa with Immerse Photography and today I'm going to show you how to turn your logo into a watermark inside of Lightroom. It is a very, very simple process and you can make it happen within a couple minutes. Let me show you how. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, I'm so excited about this you guys, you're going to love it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you're in the library mode and then click export. This menu is going to pop up and it's going to allow you to change all your export settings. So I like to have a sneak peek folder in my computer. That way it helps me organize and get to the files that I need for those social media sneak peeks a whole lot faster. I also like to put a custom name on here. Sometimes I'll put something on the end. In this case, I might put wedding. For right now, I'm just going to leave it as immersed photography. You can change all your settings, your sizes, your ratios. But the most important thing is that this watermark box is checked. It might say simple copyright watermark or it might be blank. No matter what it says, I want you to hit edit watermarks and this new menu will pop up. Now it might have generated something down here for you. I just want you to delete that. And now you're gonna come up to image options. Now you'll see that you can do either a PNG or a JPEG image. I'm gonna recommend a PNG file because that basically means your logo has been inset on a transparent background. And that will allow us to be able to see the photo through the background there. If you have a JPEG image, typically you're gonna see a white rectangular, or white square pop up on your photo. It's personal preference, I like to have it transparent. That way I do the PNG file. Now because it's so teeny tiny, I need to make it larger. So I'm gonna change the size. I'm gonna to go to about a 25 here. I like it nice and big, just like that. And then I'm gonna change the opacity so that it's about 80%. I like to be able to see through it just a little bit. And I'm gonna move it to the lower right hand corner with this anchor button. You can really put it anywhere. I simply like the lower right. And then I don't like mine to be flat on the edges, so I'm gonna change the inset to three and three. And again, personal preference. You can make this look and say whatever you want. You could have it say, do not copy. You could say, or have your um, website on there, whatever you want. I simply like to have my watermark because I feel like it adds to the image and doesn't distract from it. So now that I have everything set up the way I want, I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna get this prompt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type new immerse because this is my new logo and I love it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more detail. I'm gonna write low right white. And the reason I do that is because I can actually save a color version of this. I can save a version where the watermark's in the lower left corner. You can set many, many different watermarks up inside of Lightroom. So having these little extra details help me remember which watermark I'm hunting for or which one I'm using. So now I'm gonna click create and you'll see that that is now selected down here. Now there's one more thing that I want you to do before you hit the export button. Over here, I want you to click add, and this little menu is gonna pop up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply call this sneak peek low right white, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this and you'll see it popped up over here. Now, anytime I want to do a sneak peek photo with a watermark in the lower right corner, all I have to do is click this button. If you look, I can click on all of these different settings and it's going to change all my sizes, titles, resolutions, and everything, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna come back to the sneak peek and now I'm gonna simply press export. It's gonna overwrite, I have a file with the same name, so I'm gonna just overwrite that file because I don't need it anymore. Or you could rename it if you need to, that's again, based upon your organizational system. And you can see that my exported file is headed off to where I need it in my computer. So that's it, you guys. It is super, super simple. And you now have an image with a watermark on it. If you found this tutorial helpful, and I hope you have, go ahead and give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. And be sure to leave me some comments below if you have any questions. If you would love to follow me on social media, I would absolutely love to have you join the party. Look me up at at Immerse Photography on Instagram, or you can look me up at sparkle.society again on Instagram. It's been awesome having you here. Let me know if you've got any questions and good luck getting those watermarks on your images. We'll talk to you guys soon.